funky. New I'm packing the every guess what? Can't still be a laugh right now if you niggas guess what? Get my shorty stingers and guns, I tell them slap for nothing. Hello y'all, I am back at it again with another voiceover. Today I am pairing with Victoria Wiggs to bring you this beautiful silver lace front install y'all. So I have this 613 hair. It comes just like this out of the package. Pre-plucked as you guys can see it comes with four clips in the back. And actually oh it's a full lace. It's not a 16 or it's not a 13 by 6. Today I'm taking the Got to Be Metallic um, hair dye in silver. And I'm going to go ahead and mix the cream and i forget the lotion together and i'm gonna go ahead and mix it up as you see always wear your gloves y'all because this stuff does harm your hands so definitely wear your gloves but basically y'all i did not get film from when i actually was applying the dye but i just let it um process for 45 minutes after applying it the film cut off so i'm sorry for that but as you can see this is what it looks like when i'm done dyeing it y'all it's this beautiful silver color just what i wanted so i'm gonna go ahead and take a straight razor and start to cut my lace out so it's very important when you're cutting your lace to not make it in a straight line as you can see i'm trying to make it look extremely natural by changing my hand pan positioning anything y'all just do anything so it looks jag not jagged but it looks natural so then i went ahead and took some scissors and cut the back off of the wig and i took some concealer because i am doing the ball cap method and i wanted it to look super flawless so i went ahead and took some concealer so i can shade in the bald cap so it looks as though it's my scalp i'm gonna go ahead and apply the wig as you can see this is what it looks like when i first initially put it on now it does not look as flat as you know it should be y'all but i just put it on so spare my life but still y'all this wig looks bomb as hell and i'm having even like finessed it yet you know me, I got to take my Ghost Bond glue. I am actually apply two layers. Since I change my wigs very frequently, I don't like to apply five layers like some people should. If you want your wig to stay on for a while, you should apply five layers, but I only do two. So basically, I'm going ahead and blow drying the glue so it melts, so it dries completely. And going ahead and placing the wig over the glue. So in order to melt your wig, you've got to take your blow dryer again and melt the glue into your scalp i guess you could say so after i part my hair i'm gonna go ahead and take this blow dryer again and just work in the glue to my scalp so kind of just like moving the comb around and making sure that everything is dry and that the wig is actually sticking down so it doesn't move so then i'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry the top of my hair and i start to go into the straightening process and the styling process soon so yeah but first, I had to cut out some baby hairs. You know me. I had to cut out some baby hairs. So definitely use um, like an eyebrow shaver if you're cutting out baby hair so it looks natural. Don't just cut it with scissors because it'll look straight and it'll just it'll look blunt. So then I took some setting mousse and put that down so I can hot comb my hair. So this is definitely one of the most important steps because this is what gives the super, super, super natural look, y'all. So if you want the natural look, go invest in a hot comb, y'all. This is how you shape and mold the hair and it just adds something that no other tool can. So then I went ahead and took my straightener from Revlon. It's just something I got from Walmart, but it actually works really, really well. And as you can see, like, look at one side compared to the other. This hair is so silky. This hair is so bomb. It does not shed at all, y'all. Like, at all. And it's just super, super silky. And let's talk about that lace. Like, help me find it. Because I lost it. I lost it. Mind you, y'all, I colored this hair. in the day after I colored this hair is when I installed it. And it's it's perfect. Like, there's no tangles. There's no shedding it's it's bomb but as you can see y'all i just went ahead and took some edge control <laughs> and um i'm gonna brush out my hair but this is wrapping up the install y'all thank you so much for watching and i definitely recommend victoria wigs go ahead and check my description box so you can get this wig and look as bomb as me one two three fuck it